when I was in the service, the, the shows that I seemed to like, seemed to enjoy, Lucy and Danny Thomas and the comedies, every time I'd look, I'd see produced by Desilu Studios. So they seemed to be the shows that I wanted to do. I wasn't attracted to the dramatic shows. And even though I did not think of myself as somebody who'd be in comedy, they, they looked like fun shows to do. And my then wife was pregnant as I was coming out of the Army, so I had to choose whether to go into television or into features, because features were being, at that point, being shot all around the world. And basically, you were never home. And since you know there was a new child coming along, I thought, well, I better stay in town and go, go into television. So I wrote the head of production at uh, Desilu, a man named Argyle Nelson, a letter saying, I'm in the Army, a second lieutenant, or now I was a first lieutenant in the Signal Corps, and I've been making training films, and I'd been an assistant director, and I'm coming out of the Army, and I'd really love to work at Desilu, and I'll be out in two weeks or so. And I got a letter back saying, well, when you get in town, call me, and we'll set up an appointment. And I said, okay, great. I mean, I just figured that's the way life went. And I went in and met with him, <clears throat> and he immediately gave me a job. And he put me... In those days, the, the business was six days. We shot six days a week. And he made me a second assistant on the Lucy show on a show called December Bride, which was a, a comedy, and Armis Brooks. I worked two days on each show as the second assistant director. Um, it turned out, I didn't know it at the time, it turned out he had been my father's assistant director on a picture. So that was, he never told me. He just hired me now. Again, you know, you're young. I'm 23 by now, or 24. And you think, okay, well, it's because of my vast experience in making Army training films and having worked on The Lone Ranger. I mean, I'm perfect for this job. So that was my first break that my father's legacy had been. Obviously, he really liked my father a lot. And my next break was... Uh, I worked on those three shows for about, uh, I'd say, two months, and then it came summertime, and the shows ended, and I went to another studio to work. Uh, so I went to another studio to work in the summer, and I get a phone call from a man named Jack Aldworth, who had been the first assistant director on the Lucy Show. And he basically said, do you want to come to work on the Lucy Show as the first assistant? And I said, sure. God, yeah, I, I was working as a first assistant at Ziv Television at the time. So I came home and said to my wife, like Jack called me up today and he made a mistake. He said, do you want to come to work as the first? Of course, it's, it's, you know, I know it's less money, but I'm going back as the second assistant on Lucy. What had happened is they'd made Jack, the, first, the who had been the first, the associate producer. And they upped me to the first assistant director on the Lucy show, now I'm 24. But again, the reason I got that job was Lucy's first picture my father had directed. And she later told me she was very nervous and kept blowing her lines, and he was really lovely to her. So what I'm saying is, without being aware of anything, there was that heritage that I got chances. If, if I hadn't been in the business, my father had been in the business, and been the person he was, I probably never would have gotten all these chances I got. So a lot of it is nepotism, you know. Keeping the job was different, but getting the jobs, that's the only reason. It wasn't any talent of mine. It wasn't that I was so smart and so charming and everybody liked me so much.